Hello. Well, it was a biting southerly that came racing up the country today. That's going to be a thing of the past tonight. Instead, clearer skies, lighter winds. It's a cold night. Jack Frost comes to visit. Then into the weekend, high pressure comes in. Good-looking weekend, but there's a bit of a fly in the ointment towards the end. All the details coming up. But right now, it's 6 o'clock. Dan is here now. Well, uh, southerly moving up the country. Don't tell me it's a sign of what's coming this weekend. No, it's not. No. Hey. But it, it did yeah. have some fangs and teeth, that southerly. Anyone that was sitting, maybe sitting at the bus stop, wherever you were today, you had it come through, you knew it came through. But that is easing away. We're getting better as we run through the weekend. But of course, the southerly will ease fresh dusting of snow on the hills and ranges down south. But we managed 22 degrees in Fakatani. A chilly night. As the high builds in, clearer skies, light winds. So that means the extra layers for quite a few of us. Let's roll the radar back. Central areas this morning, Wellington, boom, there it was. Then it moved north through Auckland about middle of the day. A remnant trough on the back side of it. There's a few showers still there to eastern areas. All of this slowly clears away as you run away through the course tonight. But of course, as the temperatures drop away, it'll be a cool one. Temperatures by day were nothing to brag about down south. 11 for Queenstown and Dunedin. 11, that's all we managed. And with that cool wind, it felt even cooler than that. Heading further north, 14 Kaikoura, 13 Kapiti. And then across some northern areas, this is where the front pushed through. We still managed to be on the warm side, 20 for Gisborne. But then cooling down by some 8 degrees after the front cooled through into the afternoon. And then to the far north, prize winner was Fakatani, 22, Kaitaia at 17. Let's head outside and see how it looks. Still with that strong wind, it is coming from the southwest in Auckland. Uh, and that's uh, going to be dropping its way down through the course of the night. Temperatures uh, here down to 6. Move our way along. We look at things through the outside in Hamilton. And, of course, a fresh southwest is still with us. Grab your extra layers. Frosty here tonight down to 1. Taronga, you're looking, uh, well, pretty good. You can see fine, but it's coolish. But your numbers haven't been too bad. But five is your number over the course of the night as winds drop light. Heading further south to Wellington. Trees are blowing about. Yeah, it's been a blustery old day in Wellington, dropping down to seven. Winds will slowly ease back as well overnight. For Christchurch, we're uh, looking for the most part. It's still a strong southerly. Had a ease back down. Frosty night for you, down to two. And then, of course, for Dunedin, moderate southwester for you, heading down to uh, five. So cold night for many of us tonight. The weekend's looking pretty good. There's a couple little uh, niggly bits of some wet weather to uh, talk about. We'll look at that as we come up next in weather. Thank Deliver you. us on a decent weekend, and we'll forgive you everything else. OK, Thank we'll work much. on that. That <laughs> is all right. Hello, they've been packing for that holiday weekend break. Being a typical spring weekend, sunglasses, raincoat, extra warm layers, and you'll be fine. Bit of everything, but it's some nice weather that we certainly get ourselves into. We say goodbye, first off, to the biting southerly. You see the front there, speckly cloud, that's the open cell as we call it, cold a cloud, cold air oozing its way across the country. The cloud flattens out further west, that means stable air, that means the air of high pressure. And that is coming our way for the weekend. The tram lines close together, those are the strong uh, southerly winds. As they move away, we get the lighter winds, clearer skies. Temperatures going boom, straight down tonight. Frosty, that weather system there, slowly moves across the high. And it doesn't hang about. Notice how quickly it moves across. This is our fine day, but then already, flow coming around the high, a westerly flow thickens up the cloud to the west coast. And the new weather system coming into the picture as we head into the late parts of the day tomorrow into Sunday. That same system there on Monday lingers across the North Island. But this is tomorrow. Showers ease away from the uh, east coast still maybe there, the southerly as well, into Gisborne, into the afternoon, everywhere else. It's a cold, frosty start, but after that, the day is looking wonderful. Now, as we run through the day across the South Island, frosty start, we bring in some more cloud to the west. That could be drizzled to some western areas by the end of the day. Everywhere else you're fine, just bring a bit more breeze in there as well. And looking good to many areas, but a chilly start. You'll be out with a dog in the morning and he'll say, no, extra layers. It will certainly feel chilly. Look at these numbers, but quite pleasant into the afternoon. 20 for Alexandra. The west coast, remember that westerly flow coming around. That brings in some more cloud, which could squeeze out some drizzle. By the end of the day, place like Milford Sound, maybe up to Greymouth, everywhere else you're fine. And the numbers, of course, with that westerly wind, doing pretty good. To the east coast, frosty start. Going into the afternoon, the winds will go more northeast. You're otherwise good. 18, maybe 19 for Ashburton to finish off the day. Across much of the uh, southern half of the North Island, in pretty good shape. The only change will be a northerly coming back into the picture, but otherwise looking good in numbers a bit better than where they were today. Towards the east coast, we're pretty similar as well. But, of course, we have the remnants of the southerly. So early cloud, say goodbye to that. Showers are with you in Gisborne into the afternoons that then say goodbye to them. Otherwise, in many spots, you're doing well for your temperatures. 
Cold, frosty start over the central plateau, then looking fine. We're doing pretty well here into the afternoon. 17 for Fakatani, and a similar sort of thing as well over the far north. Looking pretty good here. Chilly, even down to some spots. So maybe south of Auckland could be seeing that touch of frost, but into the afternoon, looking good. Southerly here dies away. Now, as far as things are elsewhere, we look down south to Dunedin, and pretty good here. We'll have that frosty start. The winds become northeast for the afternoon. 17 for you going into the uh, end of the day. For uh, the likes of uh, Christchurch, same sort of thing. Lovely, cold, frosty start. 16 for the afternoon. Winds also coming in from the northeast by the end of the day. For Wellington, it's also the same sort of thing. Chilly start, maybe some spots on the very bone-chilling start to the day. 15 for the afternoon. Winds becoming that northerly to finish off the day. Further north to uh, Hamilton, frosty start, lovely day, up to 17, and winds are, for the most part, becoming northeast. And for Tauranga, broadly similar, could see a touch of frost inland from Tauranga, but otherwise looking five, 18 for the afternoon, and winds here pretty light. And for Auckland, that southerly dies, lovely day for the outside, and you're up to 16. If you're heading across the ditch, going to Australia, a bit of rain around the edges, some storms to Brisbane, and a similar sort of thing with a trough across some central layers, Fiji, Tonga, you get some showers. As we run away through the second part of the weekend, what happens? System down south, some heavy rain to the west coast. Further north and east, you're still OK for Sunday. Then bring it north, there's your wet weather. And that kind of lingers across the North Island for Monday. These showers are easing away. Further south and west, you're looking better and drier. And then Tuesday, maybe back to work. We bring it in from the west. That'll bring in some uh, fairly uh, hefty old rain to the west coast. Westerly gales too, so it's up and down spring weather, of course, as you run away through the next couple of days. Now, some of you may have heard, of course, as well, uh, Jim is retiring at the, end of the year, at the end of the year. And I thought you might like to see Jim's first broadcast on TVNZ way back July 25th, 1988. Take a look at this. Well, our picture shows us that those of you in western areas continued to get some rain today. But fortunately, the front which brought the overnight flooding to Palmerston North is moving away to the east. It was generally a brighter day in the east. In fact, it was quite sunny in Wellington and down in the southern regions. You like that suit, don't you? Oh, wow. And, and even that, and I, well, I can't comment about hair because mine is disappearing too. But <laughs> love uh, those weather graphics as well. An amazing That's bloke. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> but he is, an, he is around for a while yet, isn't he? On till the, the end yeah, of the year. That's right. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks very much, Dan. So important, of course, he deserves a Simpsons episode.